Hi folks, I'm back again to show you some beautiful dolls that are coming up in our catalog um, for our Chicago auction the end of October. We've entitled the catalog, um, we've entitled the catalog Blythe Heart and we take it from this Edward Chapin Hubble quote of the 1800s who wrote, I just love this phrase and I'm going to show you the doll later on that inspired this. It's called Many a Blythe Heart Dances Under Coarse Wool. And I thought that described many of the dolls that we are that we sell, and you can see some here that have, are really like the simple costumes, and are they're not fancy, they're not party children, they're just everyday children. And many a Blythe heart is dancing between beneath their coarse wool costume. That's just me being romantic. Pay no attention. So I have here, we have some wonderful rare dolls in this auction, some really rare examples that I think you would be very, very proud to own. I want to just, we'll keep swinging around and let me just talk about them as we go along. Uh, one of the things that people look for when they're buying their art characters are size, the large size ones, uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, the large size ones were more, much more expensive at the time they were made, and so there were fewer made. But also, the expressive detail of the sculpting of the eyes and the mouth was able to be more highly defined in the larger examples. Can, on the opposite side, when you find a small one that has particularly fine modeling, that is really a treasure because there was extra attention paid to that. Now remember, we're talking about a small, a very short span of history when these dolls were made. Originally coming out about 1908, 1909, and basically ending by 1914 or 15, like a five-year period. And I want you to remember that because I'm going to show you something else in a few minutes and remember that five-year magic number. So I have here some of the examples. These were all made in Germany by various German makers ranging from um, Cameron Reinhardt to Simon and Halbig to Gebruder Heubach. Caterfelder Puppenfabrik, Franz Schmidt, and some wonderful, wonderful dolls. A little girl right here in the front is a, made by Simon and Halbig, a very rare model. We've only sold it one other time have we had this model in all of our, in January 2020, 50 years of doing auctions. And this is the 1418 model by Simon and Halbig with sleep eyes. It's just a very beautiful little girl, very expressive features. and. Next to her, we have another small one, and this is the Franz Schmidt in her original costume, which is very, very rare to find that Franz Schmidt model. And look at the features on it. When I said when you see a small one to pay attention if they have very fine modeling because it was harder to achieve that really highly character type look on the small dolls, but this one certainly has it. We have here another girl. I don't know. There's, the, uh, Karen Bard really had a thing about Scottish costumes. Well, that's okay with me because I love Scottish costumes on dolls. And you're, wait till you see the French girl in Scottish costume with a truly blithe heart coming up. And this is a wonderful girl right here in her Scottish costume by Catter, um, Catterfelder Puppenfabrik, marked CP, very rare to find. Like a little Cameron Reinhardt. We have right here a very, very um, beautiful example of Elise by Cameron Reinhardt and look at her wig is that beautiful I love when you can find these original mohair wigs and they have their soft curls they've never been combed out and they just they have such a perfect fall fall to the way they are layered onto their heads they're just wonderful beautiful brown-eyed girl there are two examples of Elise in this auction we have here another wonderful little girl in her all original Tyrolean type costume, a Cameron Reinhardt. We have the beloved Simon and Halbig um, 153 model known by collectors as the Little Duke. Uh, I don't know where the name came from, but it seems to have stuck. And so if everybody calls it that, why not? Because he does look like a Little Duke. And again, many of the dolls were not made with, um, they were made with a smooth head if it was painted here. But Cameron Reinhardt, and I'm going to show you in a minute, Gebruder Heubach went the opposite way. They put great sculpting detail in their hair, as you can see here. And then, not only that, but when they painted the hair, they would shade the hair coloring as well, so it wasn't just a one little color. It has beautiful little detail of the curls coming onto his forehead. And once again, 
Look at the eyes, an example of fine work because the eyes are, they're really defined eye sockets. It's not just a painted flat eye, but you can see the, outline, the way the eye socket is almost impressed or in, um, into the face a little bit. Very, very wonderfully done. Look at this wonderful doll by Gebruder Hoybach, Scottish costume once again. And again, when I take it around the back, look at the back and the wrinkly little curls, uh, wrinkly little um, chubby lines at the back of his head. Ho uh, Gebruder Hoybach did all of that type of thing in making the dolls, was to have that fine um, character, highly c great characterization of his dolls. So wonderful. There, I think there are like 50 really great character dolls in that auction. So I hope you're able to come or to watch it on live online, or hopefully we'll order a catalog and you'll see all of them. They're really wonderful dolls. I'm going to show you some more in a moment.